Hey everyone, I'm Brandon from A2Z Productions and today I'm going to show you how to draw on top of your program feed. So I like to use this big monitor here. Uh, if you are an iPad user, you can definitely use an iPad and we'll show you how to do that uh, as well as the difference between a Luma key and a Chroma key. Why am I using this big touchscreen? Well, it allows me to actually draw directly on top of my image which allows me to get pretty exact uh, drawings. I can actually cut out anything I want to, uh, which is great, and that's a con of using something like an iPad. Why are we making this video? Well, we've been seeing a lot of people drawing, doing demonstrations, demos, examples, where they actually draw on top of their image, and being able to see what you're drawing on instead of just guessing is really helpful. So that's why we made this. Here's some examples of that. So if you're a teacher and you want to be able to do, you know, two plus two does in fact equal four, right, and then go back and, you know, you can say that one plus one equals two. Teachers, you already know why this is super helpful. Math, okay, so I'll use a different color here. That's 30. These already have answers on them, so Brian, this is not a great example. 90, uh, two times nine is 18. Altogether, that makes 108. Awesome. Where's Waldo? Why did you make this? actually somewhat tough. Grub out where Waldo's not. Okay, come on. This is in Spanish, I can't even read it. This guy? That's not Waldo. That, that's Waldo on some steroids and like 30 years later. I might have to give up and shoot the rest of this video. Oh, is that him? That's him, found him. Yay! There's Waldo. Got him. Cardano. Um, this is not actually Cardano. This is actually A to Z. All right. And this is uh, what our stocks, if we had any, would look like in the future. Don't get me started on the web presenter. So this is Blackmagic's web presenter. Great product. Does everything. It would be perfect for our 8K constellations. Except they made it in a one third and kind of sold it to you as working with like this guy which is the HD Studio, which is pretty much obsolete right now. So, like, you're not going to buy this. No one's going to buy that switcher right now. Like, it does not make sense. What would be cool is if they made something in the two-thirds form factor. By the way, I think they're going to do this. That would be 4K, okay? That would have the super source in it. That maybe could do some ISO records. I feel like there was something else I would want in this. Oh, aux outs. Please. Aux outs. That one's important. Uh, football, sports. Pretty simple here. Like there's the football. The end zone line is right there and the ball didn't make it over. So now we have a touchdown, right? If you do sports, you get the idea. Uh, so those are some examples of how you can actually use a touchscreen while it's good to be able to see what you are actually drawing on. Now let's go over how we're able to do this. So if you look at my table here, all right, you're going to see the giant touchscreen. Uh, all right, so you got this big touch screen right here. Now, the way we're able to do this is there's a switcher, okay, off screen over here. And what we're doing is we are running a feed. Let's make the feed orange. We're running a feed from here into this monitor so we can see what the program feed is, all right? So that is program. Uh, I'll actually just write this, PGM. Okay, so that's your program feed. Try to make that a little nicer. Program feed. The other uh, thing that's plugged in this monitor is a USB cable. And I'm actually going to draw this in blue. It's coming from the computer over here. All right, so this computer, which I will also outline in blue, that is a USB cable. Okay, so a USB cable from the computer into this guy. It's how it's being treated like a mouse, right? So that's how this works. I can draw anywhere and it thinks it's like a mouse clicking. Okay, last thing we need to do is get the feed. So you see the green screen happening over here, right? That green screen is being sent into the switcher. So we need a final cable uh, going from here into the switcher. And that is an HDMI cable, okay? So an HDMI running from the laptop over to the switcher, okay? We have the switcher giving us a program feed into here, and then finally the USB cable 
which is this blue guy, okay, that's running from the touchscreen into the laptop. Now, that's great, but how am I able to see everything that I'm drawing on on here if I'm just getting a feed from the switcher? We're using something called a chroma key right now. It's because we're using a green background on the laptop. The way a chroma key works is you're going to go into your switcher, you're going to go to an upstream key, you're going to click on chroma, and then select the source, which is currently this laptop. That laptop is currently the source. All right, and you can see, as I draw here on the side, it's actually drawing over here as well. So that's how it's working. Once you set that keyer, you simply put it on air and it shows up on top of your image. Last thing I want to touch on is this guy right here. See that? That's our stream deck, okay? So the stream deck here uh, is allowing me to control colors and things like that. So I have white, right? I have uh, red, I got what, blue, I have, ah, okay, so yellow and green are gonna be weird. I'm actually gonna draw, uh, I'll finish the colors. Orange, this is like a teal, that's not gonna show up well. I got purple, all right? Uh, so these colors work really well because they're not at all close to green. Colors that are close to green, like yellow, they show up a little weird. You can see me drawing at the top, it's a little faded. Green doesn't even show up, it almost looks more like an eraser than it does in color, all right? Um, the reason that green and orange and other things show up well or not well is how close the color is to the background color. It needs to be different, okay? Now, what if you really wanna use the color green? Like, you really wanna use it? Well, you could use something called a luma key instead of a chroma key or do it on a blue background. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off my keyers here, okay? I'm gonna turn them off. Okay, Siri, get out of here. Whatever. Um, I'm gonna turn off my keyers, and I'm gonna go over to my laptop here, and I'm gonna change that to a black background, okay? So I'm gonna hit escape, and I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna change this to a black background. Now you can see my black background is, background is black. I'm gonna activate my drawing tool again, okay? I'm gonna select white, and we can see that white actually does work. I forgot to hit my keyer on, but luckily Brian's back there doing his job well. That's white, let's look at green, okay? So now I have the color green showing up okay. It's not the most uh, clear green I've ever seen. It's a little transparent. Uh, it's actually a pun because it is somewhat see-through, clear. But you get the idea, uh, yellow works as well. Yellow actually works a little better. Uh, orange, so all the colors still work, uh, including blue and red, they all work, okay? Red seems a little faded to me. So, luma key versus chroma key. Uh, if you want to select a luma key, simply just right where you select chroma in your upstream keyer, select luma, and you need to select the one source as both your key and your fill, unless you're fancy and have a card that can output in both, in which case you already know how to do these things. So I'm not gonna go over it. All right, last thing I do wanna go over is the people that don't have a giant touchscreen. How can you guys do this at home? Great question with an iPad. So I'm gonna go ahead, pick up my iPad over here. All right, let's go to a front shot. And you can see that uh, as I draw on this guy here, it still shows up on my screen, right? And you can see that I'm just drawing on here. I can clear things off the screen. I can draw on the sides. Okay, why wouldn't I just use this? This seems way cheaper and easier and less complicated. You're right. It absolutely is easier, less complicated. The cons, I can't see what I'm drawing on. I have to guess, right? I have to straight up, guess, like if I'm trying to like outline my face here, I kind of have to like guess as to where my face is and like I can kind of, see it doesn't, it just doesn't work as well if I move over maybe, but like I rather be able to see what I'm looking at. All right, so how can you do this? This is called Procreate, the app that I'm using. The reason I'm using Procreate is it actually has a clean feed output via HDMI or screen share to an Apple TV, which is how I'm doing this wireless one, screen share Apple TV, it has a clean feed. So it just shows the drawing and not any other settings or other things I have on the page, okay? So that's how you do the iPad hack to be able to draw on top of a screen. Um, pros and cons, can't see it, what I'm doing, 
but it's completely wireless. You probably have an iPad or an iPhone or something you can draw on lying around the house. Then use a Chromecast, Apple TV, get it on to your switcher and you're good to go. Buy a little HDMI adapter for 30 to 60 bucks. This video is long enough. I hope you enjoyed seeing our little hacks here. I'm totally gonna be using this guy to draw and do demos from now on. Um, but if you like what we're doing, please hit subscribe, hit a like, leave a comment if you have questions. More videos to come, which we're really excited about. And the world is opening up, which means we are getting into physical, live, and hybrid events. Uh, so we are excited for that. Uh, let us know if you want to hear more about those types of things, things other than video, if you're interested. And uh, we'll try to make it happen. So thanks so much, and have a good one. Ready? Is my mic on? Yeah? yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so the drawing, the intro, then we'll go through examples, which I don't know about. Um, so that'll be fun. Hopefully I don't look like an idiot. What Are they like math or what's the... You'll find out. I'll, f I'll find out. All right. Then touchscreen, iPad, and we're good? Okay. All right. Shoot a video.